Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever in the world you are. So we're going to be reviewing Mikoto Misaka before anything else, before you start your day, before deciding on anything, before you decide to pull for her, you should watch this video first. Okay, so she's our first um, feature uh, figure for this collab and let's uh, go through her skills okay so nothing's too flashy about her basic attack attacks prioritize front, front most enemy in the current row attack speed is actually fast so that is good these additional damage to enemies with then Genki marks okay take note of that so th this is just a regular boost at level two and three that's just it okay uh moving on i'll do a more comprehensive um, comprehensive build guide once i do if i decide to pull for her i decide to okay so railgun is her ultimate initial energy is 50 Atta attacks the enemy in the current row of the target when unleashing ultimate one two and three so the ultimate scales once you unlock it having additional effects Gains a stack of uh, Raijin and awaken new abilities. One stack of Raijin basic attack deals splash damage to the units in the same row. So she is going to be attacking the whole row um, in front of your current target. Uh, for example, uh, if you're targeting the first one, the second and third one, the back will be hit. Okay? Similar to Zarola. So definitely she will be she will be she will play a big role whether zarola will be stepping down or not so take note of that one so deal basic attack deals uh, if you have one stack of raijin basic attack deals splash damage to units in the same row take note of that the two and three stack effects are currently disabled which is down here energy regen by the way is at six per second uh, at level 2, if you unlock it, two stacks of Regen after unleashing the ultimate triggers lightning strikes upon targets with Dengenki marks. And her basic attacks deal splash damage to units in the same row. The three stack effect is currently disabled. Okay, so this one will trigger lightning strikes with the Dengenki mark for this one. So take note again of that, the Dengenki mark. Level 3 is three stacks of Regen when lightning spear is triggered launch another lightning spear that attacks enemy with the lowest health in the current row it's a times two attack for the lowest health so again pretty much a lightning lightning barrage for the one that has the lowest health and uh sorry for that one uh, each stack of Raijin also boosts her attack speed by 25%. <laughs> okay, so that is it. Um, I think her, her ultimate is really built uh, in terms of damage. Could be similar or better than Zarola. So re really, she's going to rival Zarola here. We'll just have to test her on how she is good or how she can overthrow Zerola. So it's very interesting that she is also with Tenma. Okay. And uh, for her passive, so you have here Lightning Spear, fi fires a Lightning Spear every eight seconds, dealing damage to all enemies in the same row as the current target and, infli and inflicts the Genki Mark. So here is where the Dengenki Mark is being placed every eight seconds. Level two is Lightning Spear triggers again whenever her basic attack lands a crit. Take note of that. She needs to be built with crit, critical attack. Okay, so level three, the Lightning Spear deals damage to all enemies in the same row as the current target and inflicts the Genki Mark. So your passive gives gives your enemies the dinking mark in the same row um uh this passive right and ultimate also has a condition here when especially this i think this one this level two so there are a lot of triggers when your enemies have the dinking mark so additional damage compounded and sorry um damage on top of damage so uh that is it that is where she is going to shine for you guys so overall i think um she's really a damage focused militarist again 
I I think she would rival the role at this point, especially when 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 you think about the whole row damage. So more or less, I think she's going to be worth it, guys. She's worth a try, and I bet her damage is that big. Moving on to the last is, is, is her special. So it's Electro Master, boost damage by 15%. There is no surrounding enemy. So attack, this is the, your usual attack by 5, crit chance by 10, boost damage by 25, and there is no surrounding enemy. So again, what do I think of her kit? I think, again, I will repeat this again. She can rival Zorola at this point. Um, if you're going to, if you are going to go all out right now, you have to go go all out on her because you really have to summon her in order to get her twin. Okay, so for you to get her twin, you need to get her because whatever level she is in, her twin will also be in that same level which is kokoro shirai okay so again if you want kokoro you definitely need her she is a good investment to have so please do invest in her um if you have a lot of currency now is the time to pour in all of that here in this banner and hopefully this helped you guys in you know in deciding if you're gonna summon for her for me personally i will because uh, again, I see that she will eventually replace Zorola in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully I was able to share with you my inputs and you got something out of this video. Thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.